Hey everyone. In this video, I wanted to address something that a few people have contacted me about in a little bit of a panic. And it's an announcement that Kubernetes have made regarding Docker. Um, but first, as always, if this is useful, please go ahead and give this video a like, go ahead and subscribe, comment and share. So the announcement Kubernetes made, if we actually go and look at their recent kind of release notes, we can see there's this deprecation section and we can see Docker support in the Kubelet is now deprecated and will be removed in a future release. Uh, the Kubelet uses a module called Docker Shim that implements the CRI support. So CRI is the Container Runtime Interface. That's kind of the standard way that the Kubelet talks to the Container Runtime. And what they're saying is with 1.2, um, you're going to start getting a deprecation warning. And I think the idea is, I think the plan is 1.22 will actually be removed, which will be towards the end of uh, 2021. So what does this really mean? It, and up front, this is nothing to panic about. It's really not a big deal. So if we think about ordinarily, we have Kubernetes. So we have the whole management part of Kubernetes. So we have kind of the, the Kubernetes management portion. And then we have worker nodes. So if I think about, hey, I'll just have kind of one worker node. So on that worker node, we have the kubelet. So remember, the kubelet is what actually goes and talks to the brain, the API server of the Kubernetes cluster to get instructions to find out what it should be doing. And then what you have is the container runtime. Now, with the Docker engine, it's built on this kind of container D. which is actually now part of this kind of Moby project. And the challenge is this, the Moby project is designed around this kind of open set of layers, but it doesn't talk container runtime interface, the CRI. And so what has to happen is there's this Docker shim. And that Docker shim enables the kubelet talk to uh, the docker shim actually using the CRI. So in here, it is actually talking kind of CRI. And then it, the docker shim, then goes and talks to the Moby project. And then on top of that, that's where then we have our various kind of containers. So what Kubernetes are saying is, look, we're not, we're not going to maintain this Docker shim thing anymore. Because for a long time now, this container D has actually been pulled out and is available completely separately. Um, it's now actually being maintained by the cloud native um, computing foundation that manages a lot of the other Kubernetes components. So a completely other way of having these worker nodes now is I can think, well, I have this worker node here. Once again, it has kind of the kubelet, but now I'm just running kind of this container D directly. And that container D actually has kind of this CRI plugin. So now I can talk natively using CRI. And once again, then you have kind of various containers running on top of it. So I can get rid of the Moby project bit. I can get rid of the Docker shim part. So I'm just removing some overhead, removing some overall work that I don't want to do anymore. Now, chances are, if you're kind of um, Azure Kubernetes service, AKS 1.19 and above, this is the default anyway. They've actually moved to this a while ago. If you're running, um, Google and you're running the Google Kubernetes engine, the GKE. If you're running Amazon and you're kind of doing the Amazon Elastic Container Service, the EKS, I don't have to do anything. So if I'm using a cloud Kubernetes, a managed offering, be it the, the Azure or the Amazon or Google, they're going to do all the work for you. So in terms of what does this mean? Probably nothing if I'm using a kind of managed offering. 
they're gonna do this switch just behind the scenes. If I'm doing a self-managed Kubernetes cluster, then yes, I'm gonna have to do a few things to switch from using kind of the Docker shim and the Mobi project over the next year and switch over to doing container D, or there are others, there's a cryo, there are other container runtimes I could use. If I'm just kind of a user and application owner, I don't have to do anything, um, even if I'm using kind of my own, because yes, the Docker engine as a container runtime is being deprecated because they're deprecating the Docker shim. Although another company has said, we're gonna take over the Docker shim, but let's forget about the Docker shim. Obviously, Docker has many parts to it. So the container runtime is just one part of Docker. There's also kind of the, the CLI, and there's the ability to take my composition files and create images. So also I can think about Docker as that mechanism to take my composition file that says, hey, I'm based on this image, do these things, and then create kind of my new image. That's not going anywhere. I can still use Docker to create my images, put them in my repository, and then pull those images down and run them on my containers. The only thing that's really happening is Kubernetes has said, hey, look, we're not going to support this Docker shim thing anymore. So the actual runtime you use to power your containers, you need to move to something else. And I think container D is going to be the one most will use. Again, Docker is not going away in terms of the technology to create your container images. This is a standard. That image that gets spat out of your sort of Docker composition files, that's still going to run absolutely fine on any of those container runtimes. So nothing's going to change about the way I create my images. The only thing that's changing is Kubernetes in version way off the end of kind of 2021 won't support that Docker shim anymore. So I'm going to run probably container D. If you're using a cloud managed implementation, be it Azure, or AWS or Google, they're just going to do that for you. The only time you're going to have to do action is if you run your own Kubernetes cluster, then yes, you're going to need to probably switch away and start just running container D. So that's it. Really not a big deal in terms of stuff I, I actually have to do. Um, just something to be aware of, but I'm also going to carry on creating my images exactly as I did before. So I hope that was useful. Hope no one's panicking. There's really no need to. Uh, really a bit of a non-event. Until next time, take care.